In this video, we will solve the absolute value inequality, 9 minus 2 times the absolute value of 4x plus 1 is greater than 3. Recall with absolute value equations and absolute value inequalities, we must isolate the absolute value on one side first before we address the absolute value. This means we need to get rid of the 9 and the negative 2. However, we cannot combine them to get 7 because they are not like terms. The 2 has an absolute value with it, while the 9 does not. We are also not allowed to distribute the 2 through an absolute value because we're only allowed to distribute through normal parentheses, not absolute values. We must solve this like a two-step equation as if the entire absolute value were our variable. So we get rid of the 9 positives with 9 negatives on both sides. As we do, we get negative 2 times the absolute value of 4x plus 1 is greater than negative 6. Finally, we get rid of the negative 2, which is multiplied by the absolute value by dividing both sides by negative 2. When we do this, we get the absolute value of 4x plus 1 is less than 3. Notice, because we divided by a negative, we had to flip the direction of the inequality symbol. Now that the absolute value is completely alone, now we're ready to address it. In this problem, the absolute value is less than a number. When the absolute value is less than a number, we set up a tripartite or a three-part inequality, where we put the 4x plus 1, what is inside the inequality, between our two values, negative 3, and positive 3, the negative and positive of the number we're working with. We can now solve this tripartite inequality like solving any other tripartite by subtracting 1 from all three parts, giving us negative 4 is less than 4x, which is less than 2. Finally, to get the x alone, we can divide all three parts by 4, which gives us negative 1 is less than x, which is less than 1 half. Now that we have solved this inequality, we're ready to draw a graph or picture of the solutions. Whoops, get the numbers right on here. At negative 1 and positive 1 half, we need open circles because we're not equal to those values. And then with absolute value inequalities, we will either be between those two points or outside of those two points. Because we have a tripartite inequality, the x is between the two numbers, and so we shade in between the two points. Again, we can represent this in interval notation with a curve bracket at negative 1, because we're not equal to it, and a curve bracket at 1 half, because we're not equal to it. This tells us that any value between negative 1 and 1 half, when plugged in for x in our inequality, will give us a true statement. Anything outside of negative 1 and 1 half gives us a false statement. We found this solution by first isolating the absolute value, and because the absolute value was less than a number, we had to set up a tripartite inequality. Solving that inequality gave us our solution.